Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we'll learn how to make clock animation with geometry nodes in Blender. Let's get started the lecture. Firstly, let's download this clock model. Go to polyhaven.com website. You can find here 3D assets for free. Click on the Browse Model button, type clock in the search box. Download the alarm clock as blend file. After opening the file, switch to Material Preview mode. It looks nice. Let's press Shift S and choose the cursor World Origin. Then, switch the pivot point to 3D cursor. Hit the A key and select all objects. Press S key and scale up the clock little bit. Let's select the hour hand and rename an outliner editor. In the same way, rename the minute and second hands also. Press numpad 1 and go to front view. Be sure that second, minute and hour hands have the same origin point. Also don't forget that switching the pivot point to median point. Let's set the clock to 3. To rotate the hands, Select the hand and hit the R key. Hit the A key and select all objects, then press Ctrl A and apply rotation and scale transforms. Let's open the new window and switch to Geometry Node Editor. Press N key and close the right toolbar menu. Select the second hand and click on the new button to add new geometry nodes modifier. Press Shift A and add transform node. Bring it between the input and output group nodes, so it will be plugged automatically. When we try to change Y rotation value, the second hand will rotate on the Y axis. Now, let's add the minute and hour hands to this node tree. To do that, press Shift A, geometry, add join geometry node. Leave it between the transform and output geometry nodes. Now, we need object info node. Let's add object info node. Plug the geometry node to geometry node. Select the minute hand on the object info node. We need a transform node to be able to control rotation of the minute hand. Let's select the transform node and press shift D to duplicate. Place the transform node between the object info node and join geometry node. Let's change the Y rotation value. As you can see, the minute hand has duplicated. Let's hide the original one in the viewport and render result. Now, let's add our hand node to the node tree. Select the object info node and transform node together, press shift D and duplicate. Plug it to the joint geometry node. Delete the minute hand and select the hour hand instead of it. Set the Y rotation values to zero again. Hide the original hour hand in the viewport and render result. As you can see, these three hands have the same material now. We can assign different materials to them using nodes. To do this, go to Material Properties menu, and add red and black material slots. On the node editor, press Shift A, Material, and add the Set Material node. Drop the node between the transform and the join geometry nodes. Also, press Shift D and duplicate the material node for the minute and hour hands. Select the red material for the second hand, and select the black material for the minute and hour hands. There we go. Let's get started to animate the second hand. What we gonna do is, to enable the second hand rotates just one tour in one minute. To do that, we need to rotate it 360 degrees on the Y axis. Let's add value node. We cannot plug the value node to the rotation node directly. Because the value node uses float number. We need to convert it to vector. Let's add combine XYZ node. 
plug the value to Y axis, and plug the vector to the rotation node. When we increase the value, we can see the second hand rotates. But, we need to determine how much the value should be so that the second hand rotates one tour. Because the value doesn't use degree unit, it uses radian. In this case, we need to convert 360 degree to radian. We can use the calculator for this. As you can see, 360 degrees equals to 6.283185 radian. Now, let's determine how many frames we need in one minute. Firstly, set the frame per second. Go to Output Properties menu and set the frame rate to 30. It means 30 animation frames will be in one second. We need 60 seconds to complete one tour. So, we need 1800 frames for one minute animation. Let's set the animation frame to 1800. Now, let's add frame driver for the value. So, the value will change according to frame in which timeline cursor. To add frame driver, go over the value and type in sharp frame, and hit the enter key. It will become purple color. It means this value has a driver. Let's play the animation. As you can see, the second hand rotates very fastly. We want it rotates one time in 1800 frames. The value changes one radian in every frame. Firstly, we need to calculate how many radian it should rotate in every frame. So, we need to divide 6.283185 radian by 1800 frames. The result should be multiply with the frame driver. Copy the value. Go over the value, right click and choose edit driver. Type in the expression box. You can paste it by pressing Ctrl V. Hit the Enter key and play the animation again. There we go. Now, it would be better the second hand rotate gradually. To do this, we need Math Node. Let's add Math Node. Switch to Snap. We need to calculate the increment value. We want the second hand to snap with 1 second steps. 1 second is equal to 30 frames. We had previously calculated how many radian the second hand rotates in 1 frame. If we multiply this value by 30, it will give use the increment value. Let's enter this value and play the animation. There we go. Cool. Now, let's animate the minute hand. Select the math and vector nodes and duplicate them. Switch to Divide function. Plug the vector node to rotation node. Plug the value node to the first value of the math node. Set the second value to 60. It means, the minute hand will be 60 times slower than the second hand. Let's play the animation. There we go. In the same way, we can animate the hour hand. Duplicate the math and vector nodes. But, we gonna use the value of the minute hand. So, plug the value nodes and set the value to 12. Because the hour hand should be 12 times slower than the minute hand. Let's play the animation again. As you can see, it is not possible to see rotation of the hour hand because it rotates very slowly. We can increase the animation speed just like time-lapse. To do that, let's add a math node just after the value node. Switch the function to multiply, and set the value 300. 
Let's play the animation again. There we go. The animation will be faster 300 times than it is. If we want the animation speed to be normal again, we can set this value to 1. We can also organize the nodes. To do that, select the nodes you want. Go to node menu, click on the join in new frame. We can also change the color of the frame, and add labels. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.